blue condenser mic with like an arm thing. You, you should I get a turtle okay. beach for sure. But why? What's your what's that? It, why are you impulse to buy or what? What's your reason? I need a I need to get a new mic because this one's gone like it's just old and it's like falling apart. But I wasn't I I was just debating you know like thinking maybe I'll just get like a you know headset mic combo instead of the you know like a condenser mic like on the arm because i find like when you have a mic on the arm it gets in the way you know it's like always in the way of your keyboard or like in the does way yeah your monitor and stuff I mean, it's annoying mm, do you yeah. want better quality audio or do you want the convenience in the i just space want saving? convenience you know i just want yeah. to feel good get a blue yeti isn't that like <laughs> a like like a usb one it is yeah they they do right. both it's like the combo you could do usb or xlr depending on your setup but Man, i'm I mean, such an elitist now like i i see usb and i'm like <clears throat> laughing i sleep yeah you can get a dazzle yeah. dvc 100 what's that it's a capture card from like 2008 that lets you capture the red white and yellow uh <laughs> nice rca connections <laughs> Sweet, I could sweet. not say red, white, yellow, by the way. In my head, anytime I say red, white, my head just goes, and blue, all the funny things you do, <laughs> America. Hey, too America. soon, dude. I know, I know. <laughs> all right, I have sound now. Imagine that. Tell him to get a shotgun mic and hang it above the monitor. Yeah, but like, how does the shotgun mic work for like background noise and stuff? You know? You know what you should do is just get... Get a Turtle Beach so it's on your headset, but then pipe your audio in so the transcript gets read by, you know, the computer, and then feed the transcript into a simulated AI version of your voice so it'll be as crisp as you could possibly imagine. That way you could have a shit mic as long as it captures all the words, and then the AI would just be like, Hey, bud, thank you so much for the donation. They need to do, uh, they need to make like a uh, AI that is capable of, you know, like, you know, when you play a game and you, and, and you create your character's name, but then when there's like a uh, spoken dialogue in the game, they never refer to you by name. They just mm. call you like you or whatever. True. They got to fix that. Right. Mm. So that they can pronounce your name. <laughs> it's like, I don't think that will work jabroni 69 <laughs> you know like but like it has to fit in with the dialogue perfectly too. my god is that jabroni I think, I feel, 69 <laughs> the, the like hero close, of time you know i feel like we're really close to 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 achieving this dude the mlb the show does that nhl does that but it's still like in the 90s basically it's still right. just like mike fox stepping up to the plate <laughs> <laughs> i would take it though it's dude, you know nothing. yeah Fox is a great last name for like video games. It's Very just like, true. You know, a set list of uh, names they'll they'll read. That's why I, whenever I play a sports game, I always end up being like the rookie. You know, they <laughs> oh, never yeah. ever. They, maybe like NHL '92 as like a Mary Kay Letourneau thing, like put the name in the game. But after that, I mean, I've been waiting a long time for a professional athlete to share my name. They should just let you like custom record audio clips to put in the game, kind of like how they used to let you like put your face. Oh, now you know, you're scan talking. your face or whatever. You know, they should let you just do that. He scanned my name. What a shot! So if only that, it was on net. <laughs> are you referencing Jingle All I the was, Way? I was. I was referencing Jingle All the Way. It's true. He knows my name. I also. I. I. Uh, I was watching a movie last night, and I was like, "There's another mouth reference." I had a double burger. burger. Goodwill hunting, baby. Good movie, good movie. Oh, Whoa! If you're not out here in five seconds, you're next. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. It, I think it's the first time I've seen Goodwill hunting since I was like 10 years old. Wow, and, uh, man, I haven't seen that in years. It actually so starts, long. like, and, and I don't mean to be rude, the movie is incredible. Like, the script is insane. Yeah. It's so good. But it starts so comically scored. Like, it's it's weirdly, like, there's just a bassoon that exists at all times, even when they're just, like, eating hamburgers and stuff. That's super weird. But mm -hmm. that stops after, like, half an hour, and then it's just, like, nonstop. <gasps> oh, fuck, I just missed that. It, the script I just is went in just, a little too far. It's, incre it's nonstop just, like, uh, like, tearing you down. It's great. 
The one it always does weird me out a little bit the slow motion fight scene. Yeah, that's it was still like a little almost like theatrical in that like like yeah. Broadway it was like because <laughs> they're, they're playing Baker Street by, or I forget the guy's name, but you know. Yeah. That, that part, I was like, this movie's like a caricature. Then like an hour later, I was like bawling my eyes out for like 45 minutes straight. It's not your fault. <laughs> it's, it's not your fault. At what part? Was it oh, the, yeah, uh, the whole thing? The whole... How do you like them apples part? That I was yeah. crying laughing. This when he's talking about his I've wife and how she like farts in her sleep, mm -hmm. that always gets me crying. <laughs> oh, mini, mini driver? <laughs> No, no, uh... No, I, mean, I bet you Robin she fucking Williams. doesn't even just <laughs> fart. It's like massive whoppers. Like, you just... Why? The what makes you say like such a vulgar thing is that... <laughs> well, she just got that look about her. What do you mean? Uh, Jack farts. <laughs> it's not like little puffles. Like, you're talking big, huge farts. Like, what are you talking about? I don't about? know. She's got that <laughs> smug face, you know? She's just like... I bet you she's just like... Absolutely cranking them out. <laughs> <laughs> no? I just think I don't know how you could possibly presume to know that. <laughs> just from looking at her face. Oh, okay. There's a correlation. The, the bigger your, the longer the perimeter of your jawline. <laughs> okay, <your> well. <laughs> she does have a, a large jaw. That's, But that's fine. I mean, she's, a, just well defined, she's an I mean, elegant lady. Yeah. What else has she been in? <laughs> yeah, she was like um, kind of like an it girl for a bit, and then she just disappeared. A little bit, yeah. Maybe she she's in, in English things, things. now. She yeah. in British British sitcoms on Channel Four. No, not Frasier, anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, not not that I know of. But um, no, I don't know what she's been in. She's been in a couple of bits and pieces, but nothing like nothing major. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> a lot of momentum. Oh, hey, oh look don't at that. worry. I Don't knew it worry. would pay off. <laughs> it's like, hey, you know I what? knew he was there, I and was I was just gonna happy to be involved. No oh, man, good stuff. She had a minor role in James Bond Goldeneye, the worst Bond of all time. What are you what? smoking? That's in. Oh man, the, the movie maybe, but the video game was so. No, Goldeneye good. is the best Bond. It, it's, it's, the, it's not game. the best. It, it's, it's not the, the best, best Brosnan Bond, oh. Bond by. Oh, for a sure, mile. and he's the best. He's the best Bond. So I think it, there go. I think it's in contention for like top five Bond. I don't know if I put it in number one, although... The scene when he jumps off the cliff on the dirt bike and he free falls to catch up to the plane. <laughs> hey, bud! There's a lot of, like, pure garbage James Bond movies. Oh, yeah. Like, at least... Like, the first, like, six are, with Sean Connery are pretty good. Then they fucked it up for, like, almost 20 years straight. <laughs> I really liked Honor Majesty's Secret Service. The one with George Lazenby? Movie. Yes, but I didn't really like George as Bond, personally. But the movie itself had some really awesome scenes in it. This, like the, the skiing um, like fight scenes and stuff were really good, I thought. I'm trying to see if, if, if that's one of the ones I sat down and watched, or if one year when TBS did it's like, James Bond 24-7 marathon, if I just Oops. saw like 10 minutes of Swiss ski troopers trying to shoot him. Yeah, Uzi's. that's pretty much all it was, but I, I liked it. I thought it was pretty good. Dude, my problem with, like, James Bond stuff is, like, you know, oh, every Jesus. couple of years they come out with, like, complete James Bond box set. Yeah, right? I got, like, six or seven complete <laughs> James Bond yeah, boxes. Like, they keep coming out with them. You can't I never, I never should have bought after Quantum of Solace, but I thought they were done. Yeah. Which one was, like, was the which one was the one where where like M was his mom or something and he was crying and and in it which one was that? That's like was kind that of Skyfall. Oh, it's Skyfall. It's a I little Skyfallish. Skyfall. Skyfall. We all fall together. Skyfall. That is the James Bond theme right there Scott. it's the the guy on youtube that does the theme songs he metalifies them oh and then he like works it into golden eye it's slick i'm telling you oh man skyfall is oh, good man. i, I are, are we doing I, are these placement these are right now, placement matches yeah. so be careful <clears throat> i'm gonna be a grandmaster after that <laughs> that's you were mvp 
I warmed up and now look out, everybody. I think I might have already told you guys this, but I had a great theory for how to save two movie franchises at the same time with one move. So right. you know how like every other James Bond movie is bad. Like they do like yeah. one one where they're like a return to form for Daniel Craig, and then the next one is like what the fuck? Oh, Daniel like, Craig, give him the really? Next Pacific really Rim three. The on this mm -hmm. one. So another franchise that reminds me of X Men. So I think you got to take the X-Men team and put them on every other Bond and vice versa. And then you get two perfect movie franchises. So wait. Um, I thought, I thought X-Men and Marvel stuff was consistently kind of good. Marvel like, is uh, consistently workmanlike, I think one would say. X Men not so much because it only recently oh, right. it, hard. it only recently came under the Marvel umbrella. Is Wolverine right? Is Wolverine an X Men? Yes. He, he is perhaps the most well known X Man. All right. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, I, well, he's got to be. He's uh, up there for sure. Yeah. I mean, I'm not think, gonna. Argue uh, it. Do you think somewhere out there there's a Wolverette as well? <laughs> they must have by now, right? Wolverine's daughter. I guess. He's got yeah. A daughter? Well, not a. Does he have? Does she like, have the same uh, plutonium, platinum, adamantium? Yeah, she got him yeah. in a freaking feet too, man. It's all in it's all feet. striker. It's all. Striker. Have you not watched Logan? She get. She must get some sore ass muscles down in. Logan's like the time. best, like X. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I had to avoid the guy. Um, is like the best best uh, Fox Marvel or X Men movie. Is a is a good. He's got to be the most the most uh, iconic X Men, right? Apart from maybe uh, Professor X. Most himself. people, yeah, know Professor X, I'd say too, yeah, but yeah, probably. I think probably if you looked Wolverine. at a sporkle quiz of most well known X Men, Wolverine would be the top. Oh, I, yeah. I think Professor X might be second. But Where do the Fantastic most Four people factor probably would know, like, if you know anything about X Men, you're probably like, oh, yeah, Cyclops. The bald guy. Name. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, oh, no. The guy with laser beam eyes. Oh yeah, yeah, Cyclops and uh, the Rock guy as well. Or is he? Is he fantastic? That's well. Guy? There's Colossus from X Men. He's kind of like a rock, but he's, he's like, more a metal, like a metal it's guy. Like a, yeah. What about the Silver Surfer? What he's is, what Fantastic is he Four. Oops. He's, oh, that was so yeah. close. I still love it in the Fantastic Four movies. Like Michael Chiklis plays a man made of literal bricks like he's got brick eyebrows and like his, his whole body is like yeah, rocky what, and what's orange that guy's name again? The, that's, that's the, the guy's thinking of. that's the thing that's the thing all oh, right but they just yeah. got him when he's out in public to like hide his identity they just got him wearing like a, a fedora and a trench coat <laughs> as if like oh that's cool that's a great shot that was a really nice shot oh man this is a classic Max Blue Andres one two one three two, <laughs> with a huge goal. I watched some movies this weekend. Did you? Well, I watched Goodwill Hunting. I also I on on Malf's recommendation I watched This Is Forty. Right. Did I recommend? I mean, I've I've seen that many times. You I quoted it recommend. in some way, and I was like, well, Man, it's good enough for okay. him. It's good. I enough went for to me. go see a movie at the cinema Whoa. last weekend. Yeah, with my wow. I took my my son Iron and Man? My, my daughter. It was not Spider-Man. Was it Encanto? No, it was not Encanto. It almost was Encanto. Okay, though. we're getting closer. But they opted for a different movie instead. Um, okay, hold I'll on. I'll let you guys guess. There's not um, that much out right now. So it's true. Platoon? Pretty easy. Yeah, was it Platoon? <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was actually. Director's Cut. It's uh, five hours of um, Platoon <laughs> deleted scenes. <laughs> Really good. Dude, uh, this is an aside. I apologize for, for stepping on the bit, but the I saw Platoon like three months ago, but it was on like a described video channel for right. like the hearing impaired, and those guys have got to get a raise because literally they were like, you know, uh, troops name is riddled with bullets. He sprawls out on the field and his entrails pour out of his abdomen. I was like, man, this guy, he's like, he's... A liar! He, sorry. He's, he's Willem doing... Dafoe falls to his knees and <laughs> yeah. puts his arms in the air. He's doing more work than the than the actors, honestly. <laughs> yeah, that's it's it's pretty crazy. I, 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 
I'm not sure, like, I mean, obviously I'm not uh, visually or hearing impaired, so I'd, I've never really had to use any of that, but I, I'd imagine it is, like, really useful if you're either, right? I'd... I actually watch a lot of stuff, like English stuff now, with subtitles on. Oh, I watch everything yeah. with subtitles on. Which I think is mostly thanks to uh, for, um, my hatred of Christopher Nolan's sound balancing, because I can't hear a dialogue half the time. Um, because you know Nolan? how he does the thing where the music is always really loud, but the dialogue yeah. is really quiet. So he always has someone like, talking like... in a funny voice. Yeah. So um, so the movie I went to see was uh, Clifford the Big Red Dog. <laughs> oh, that was like my eighth guess. <laughs> no spoilers, it was, please. Uh, I... <laughs> it was a movie. <laughs> did the kids like it? Yeah, they did, yeah. Oh, okay. It was, uh, it was all right, yeah. Can I ask you what the the driving, like you know how in in plots there's all there's a tension, man versus man, man versus self, you know. In yeah. in Clifford yeah. the Big Red Dog, what is it? Is there like a a zookeeper who's trying to put him in the pound, or like a scientist has a, a shrinking ray? Whoa. <laughs> it was. <laughs> Um, okay, so Clifford, it, the big red dog, it, he is just a small red puppy that gets ab accidentally abandoned by his uh, his mom after she has a litter of puppies. Okay. Uh, sad then story, sad so far. The small red puppy is uh, found by uh, John Cleese, the John Cleese, oh. who is like some sort of magical zookeeper. And looks for a uh, a new owner for the, the the red puppy, and finds this uh, lonely girl who just needs a friend. Oh, no. You know. Wait, and, wait I gotta uh, interrupt he you. Says, so this he, he John Cleese is a he's a zookeeper. He runs a, a presumably for profit zoo. It's more like a circus, like a traveling. Okay, circus. even better, or like and an then, oddities. It's like a tent with oddities. Okay, in it, you know? so like he that sort of vibe. A, a prodigiously large. Bright red dog falls into his lap that nobody on. No, it's a small. It's just a small, minuscule puppy. At, at this point. Oh, so yeah. at the t he doesn't know that this no. could be and like then, an insane. And the, money and the maker. girl, the girl uh, is with her brother and and visits the tent and she's like being bullied at school and she's alone and stuff and she she sees this dog, and he's like, oh, you know, you'd be a great owner for this puppy, and she's like, well, how big is he gonna get? And he said. As big as you love him, or something like that. So, <laughs> oh. so that night she takes, she doesn't even take the dog. She's like, I can't take this dog. My mom won't let me have a dog, whatever. So she's like, okay, fine, no dog. And then she gets home and she's unpacking her school bag uh -oh. and the dog is in there. And she's like, how the fuck did you get in? Well, she didn't <laughs> say that, but you know, no, she, she, can't, said that. she can't believe that the dog is in there. And they go to sleep that night and he's she's like cuddling the dog and then the next morning they wake up and he's like 800 pounds and 16 <laughs> feet tall because she loves him so much i guess uh and then and then the bad guy of the movie is actually buster from uh arrested development oh, tony hale who runs I like a, uh, a like a, like a like a gene splicing clinic <laughs> he sees clifford the big red dog on the news and then he just like Gets his goons to go out and get him. This is just they, a plot of Jurassic. Every they Jurassic want to Park extract. <laughs> they want to extract his growth hormone so that mm. they can grow big vegetables and shit like that. Honestly, That's that doesn't movie. sound That's that villainous. Movie, yeah. I mean, yeah. if he would be oh, willing so to just world hunger. donate a little blood, then maybe they could get it sorted. Well, yeah, but he just like claims that Clifford was his and that it oh, escaped from a lab and through stuff nefarious and all means. The, all this I stuff. see. Yeah. And so the kids are just like, no way. <laughs> Nobody's touching our Clifford. I don't and, care uh, how many people we could save. They get the cops involved in everything. and But in the end, it's fine. Clifford, Clifford's fine. He gets to go home with his new family and everything. And the neighborhood love him. He lives in New York. He lives in Harlem. Oh. The whole neighborhood <laughs> loves dog him. for the big city. How can he afford they don't to care live in that New he York? just rampages through their bodegas and stuff. That's They're crazy. Just like, Whatever. Yeah. So I do like yeah, how so. I said no spoilers, and then you told me the entire plot <laughs> of the film. Beat oh, by I beat. mean, you're more likely to see it now, right? It I think it is, doesn't it? Probably close to a 100 percent chance in the next five years, I'll end up seeing that movie. Yeah. You always I read about movies on Wikipedia before. Before you watch it, yeah, but only so. if they're scary. 
I want to know what not to be scared by. So like, when you, <laughs> no, I need to know the precise moment all the jump scares occur. <laughs> Dude, that could so be a I good could website. Tactically, be at the bathroom for people who are like they don't want to see horror movies because they don't want to get startled. We could have one of those websites oh. that's like, here's when to go to the bathroom. But instead, just hey, at this time, prepare for a jump scare. And then, if you go see it with a group, everybody else will go like, ah! And you'll be like, it wasn't that scary. But actually, you vaccinated yourself to the scare by knowing it was going to happen there. Mm. You know how much ass you would get <laughs> if, you, <laughs> if you subscribe to that website? Oh my god, dude. God, I love getting ass. That's, that's for sure. Um... Yeah, you guys should definitely watch, um... <laughs> Do you have to handle, though? No, I'm done. I told you, I'm done watching shows on Netflix that have hot people in them. I'm over it. I actually find, like, a lot of them kind of ugly. Like, on a on the inside. Well, for sure. Um, <laughs> I don't actually think they're, like, ugly, ugly. But some of them are just like, you know what? Without that hot body, you, you know, you'd be hit, too. <laughs> 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 Like, I, I was thinking about it because, like, Kate has been watching the Korean Love Island to, uh, Singles Inferno. And uh, I'll, I'll kibitz and, like, watch a little bit. I'm just, I'm, I'm really over, like, insanely hot people talking. Because it's just so boring what they yep. think their problems are. <laughs> Dude, tell me about it. They're always I mean, like, like they're they're 22 years old, and they're like, "What do you like in a man?" And they're like, "I like a guy who's a little taller than me." And I'm like, "You don't know anything." That's like, you you, you don't. I. What about a man that like does the dishes, or like you know, what about a man who like has integrity? It's always like, I like when they have curly hair. Like, what are you talking about? You don't know <laughs> anything. You're literally like, you were a kid like two years ago. They might as well ask you like, you know, what's the, I don't know, theory of everything. Mm -hmm. give, give me a show with some, like, 45-year-old oh, people no, no. who have been married three times. They've been, like, through some stuff. Like, what do you Man, look I for in a wife or something like that? I could like just that. pretend. <laughs> well, I'm old enough anyway. Like, I could be on that. I mean, I actually worked with a guy that was married four times. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's too many times. <laughs> it's a wild dude. Wild four times. Dudes. Yeah, and he would also commute two hours each way to, to work Holy cow. by a car. Think of how yeah. much money he saved on his house, though. Dude, I mean, he was pretty well off. He's construction. Well, I hope so. <laughs> He's oh. Oh, sorry. But I'm just thinking from like the just like you know, two hours each way a day. That's I mean. Yeah, that's a that's lot. Just like, it's just like mentally, I don't know if I can handle. Well, that. Luckily, there's a new episode of Joe Rogan Experience five times a week. Dude, is it on Spotify? Because I uh, deleted Spotify. <clears throat> I can't use Spotify anymore. That it's Joni Mitchell's off it now too, man. Like, what am I? Gonna oh, do? my Neil Young is off <laughs> there now as well. So. Hey, Malf, um, because you were sick this week, is that why you couldn't attend your big trucking convoy? And, uh, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> in, in Actually, Ottawa? I did attend it. I, That's why I, he was away for a bit. <laughs> I <laughs> caught up. I caught up to them. Um, and well, more like stragglers, but like they would all. Ha so like on the overpasses, there'd be people with their flags and their, you know, other malarkey um, cheering them on. And Patriotic then like anybody. Stuff. That was in support of the convoy who had their 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 emergency lights on. So as I drove past them, I flipped every single one of them the bird. <laughs> every single one of them. Yeah, man. Nice. And Did none you of show them, them your had balls enough to oh, go guys. do anything about go, it. Go, you know? go. Oh no. <laughs> Shit. That's so close. <clears throat> Frick yeah. Yeah, try and mess with me and my highway. Oh shit. Anyways. Nice. Yeah. Little it's base, just little base. really, really dumb, you know? Yeah. I will say, though, like, how Canadian of a news story is... Like, I, and this is not a negative thing, but in America, the news stories are always like, you know, hey, uh, you know, everybody's fucked. Like, that's the news every day. In Canada, we had the most, like, tragic news story of all time. They defaced the Terry Fox statue. That's oh something God, that... you don't do, okay? That guy ran across a country mm. with one leg. I mean, come on. 
Terry's Man, a great cancer. unifier, all right? Dude. Terry Fox is the man. Man. Good job, Malf. Good job, good job. Thanks. That's a full team effort right there. Okay. Unlike last time. He won. He won. Team game. 100 points. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to queue and I'll be back in one moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very young Canadian to disrespect Terry Fox. What about Emily Carr? Who's that? You ever disrespected Emily Carr before? Oh. What about Sir Wilfrid Laurier? You ever disrespected him before? Yes, because I went to University of Waterloo, so... What about um, Colonel Bai? And Wilfrid Laurier University is literally right down the same street, so... If you went to Waterloo, the, the diss on Laurier, Laurier was, oh, the high school down the road? <laughs> oh you know, my god. That's, it was more of a... I'm not nasty. saying it's a bad school, but at least when you know when you're you're a teenager and you're all cocky and whatever, um, you know, people people would would make fun of it. Good good party. School, what about though. um? What about Colonel By? Who? Sir John A. Macdonald. Um, he got like kind of canceled the, within the past few years, right? What John A. Macdonald? Yeah. Why? I don't know, like an alcoholic or something. Oh right. Oh, that was close. It's a two-on-three situation here. We're coping quite well, actually. You know what? Sometimes, <clears throat> sometimes it, it helps. Well, yeah, there he's back. Help this. These guys mm. all miss the ball. <laughs> Help this. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Yeah, Kate got her uh, booster yesterday. Oh yeah. She's not feeling so good. This is the first time. I was talking a big game, you know, I was like, oh, you know, we got to get the booster. I'm so excited to get the booster. This is the first time she got one of the doses before me. And I'm like, I'm still going to get it, but I'm like a little apprehensive now. <laughs> I've heard it's like the second shot seems to like have given people the least mm -hmm. on average. And then the booster seems to be hitting mm -hmm. people the hardest from whatever. I found I had the most uh, diarrhea after <laughs> my booster, honestly, but. A personal experience i guess right it varies for everybody else but you were having diarrhea before your booster anyways right well i'm constantly you think it might my, not my... be the vaccine then uh, it's got... <laughs> that's just <laughs> it's gotta be all that <laughs> it's gotta be all that pizza hut <laughs> too much oh too much diarrhea well so here's a here's a theoretical question for you okay i've asked before and people hate it um if you could have like, it's like one instance in your life where it's like, you never have any any boogers ever again for the rest of your life, but you have like all of the boogers in your life combined into one. Right. Or like- Like, like a, in a cube, like a, like a silly putty. Yeah, but it's like in your nose and you gotta get putty. it out. But like once oh, you get it out, you'll nose? never have another, yeah, you'll never have Jeez. another. It's probably down your throat and probably coming out your butt. It's like, it's oh, your whole man. life's worth of boogers. Uh, stick to just the normal boogers, personally. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. sometimes it's nice. Yeah, I just, every <laughs> once in a while, you know, you just like, oh. It's been a while yeah. since I cleaned out my nose. Let's see what's in there, you know? Like, it's just... But what about surprised. like, you know, Great all fight. like Great you fight. all your life's worth of sneezing out of the way. You just like you're sneezing for like a week straight. Absolutely not. What about coughing? None, none of the things that I could amortize out over 80 years would I want to just knock out. Oh. Really? Almost nothing. You wouldn't be able to do it with poop. It'd be impossible. Like, sometimes just one of my regular poops, I'm like, <laughs> how is this coming out? Where'd this come so from? So, like, a combination of all the poops? There's no chance. It would never work. <sighs> I don't want to... I don't want any of this stuff that I... It, in general, the longer I could extend uh, uh, <clears throat> any pain so that I experience it less frequently, I think the happier I would be. What if... Okay, there's, like, a... Like, it's like a, you got like a worm, the end of a wormhole in you, like in your nose. What are you talking? Like, <laughs> this so is... it's like the, the boogers are just coming out of the portal that's in your nose. Or the poop, you know, a lifetime of poop coming out of your wormhole in your butthole. 
So I wouldn't even notice. So like physically, you wouldn't like your body wouldn't be full of poop. You right, know? but there's no negative. But you'd be at sitting all? on the toilet pooping for like a month straight. No, I don't want it. That would fuck my whole life up. <laughs> Way worse Think than. Think about the Netflix you can watch. <laughs> Oh my god. There's no way. It just it, it doesn't make any sense at all. <laughs> okay, if you could just for fun, would you want to do uh, a cum shot as big as all of the cum <laughs> oh you've god. ever done in your life? Gross. Like but just in one huge shot. Just for fun. Just now like that... not even for any reason other than to just be like check this out. So you'd actually be like a sperm whale. <laughs> like it would just be or a blue yeah. whale or what's the one with the like 3 gallons worth of I don't know. I, I, I unsubscribed go. from the newsletter uh, last year. Dude, they told that on Discovery <laughs> Channel, I swear. <laughs> I'm uh, chat back me. I'm pretty sure the great blue whale, like, it's like it's gallons at a time. Yeah, well, they're big, right? Yeah. They're big. They're huge. It's messed up. I mean, the dinosaurs are probably the same, honestly. Is it true that dork is is like a whale's penis? Is that the name for a whale penis? A dork? That's what I always heard when I was a kid, and and other kids would be like, "Ha ha, you're a dork," and then and then if they didn't know, you would be like, "That means whale penis, idiot." Uh -oh. This is kind of like a double burn, but I don't know if it's actually true. You guys, I don't know if that's true. Disgusting. <laughs> you, you have some serious problems. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. I googled it. It's true. There you go, you dorks. He's <laughs> <laughs> well penis if you didn't know. <laughs> Just do a big whale jizz one day. <laughs> I am really happy really to fun. extend this stuff out over my whole life. I don't really, I don't want to do that in bulk. No. no I'm the same, Ooh. honestly. Maybe like once just for fun, but like not for it, like not for any convenience or anything like that. You know, like quite happy to just. Oh, have, sorry. To have boogers and do <laughs> normal poops and whatever. <laughs> so I'm a little out oh, of nice, there. We go. Nice, 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 nice. I think if Something you could do else. it on like a weekly basis, like I think it'd be kind of like just to have a big clear out. You mean? Yeah. Well, here's what I would do. Maybe or now like a and quarterly, then. like you know. Well, because that, no, that's insane. Because like <laughs> anything, over if you took the sum total of the number of times you do something in three months, it's gonna fuck your whole life up. But what if, what if you could eat a 14,000 calorie meal on Monday and not have to eat for seven days? I oh. enjoy eating, but there might be some weeks where I'm like, you know what? That would help me out a lot. Wouldn't have to worry. Nice. Wouldn't have to worry about it. But not not for a year, no, or or my entire life. Mm. That's that's too much. I don't know about the eating thing. I like eating. I do think about that sometimes, though. Like, sometimes, I, if I'm drinking, like, a, a Coke Zero, I mm -hmm. think to myself, if I, if somebody presented me with all the Coke Zeros I've ever drank in my entire life, would it kill me if I consumed them all? And I'm like, yeah, definitely. Just from, like, <laughs> all like at once? aspartame overload or whatever? I think just sheer liquid volume. Oh, oh, for sure. Probably, dude, it's, I've I, had a I lot don't know, I probably Zero. consumed, like, 200 liters of Coke Zero over the course of my I haven't had, like, a normal... Earth. Coke, it, since like, when did they come out with Coke Zero? Like, I mean, I've had like a uh, Coke, like a couple times, but Oops, sorry, by default I get Coke Zero if I get soda. Yeah, why wouldn't you? Yeah, but no sugar in it. Yeah, I don't want to drink my calories. I do want um, to drink my calories. I mean, I do as well. But, you know, you like know. how they have like those eating competitions, you know, like, uh, you know, eat all the hot dogs or who can eat the most hot dogs or whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They have the same <laughs> thing <laughs> for, <laughs> for Coke drinking. I would do. They have one like that for drinking uh, Coke. I'd Pepsi's. love to watch that. <laughs> Maybe beer. Yeah, it's different though. But I mean, just like, just soda. I Imagine think... some of the belches during that one. If there was a contest Crazy. that was, I mean, this probably exists. Like, who could eat the most spaghetti? I'd love to see oh, him just eating. That would be messy as hell, though. Oh, because wait, yeah. wait, I don't know if you've ever thrown up after eating spaghetti before. Not. It's not pleasant. My, you because you you think you're eating and <laughs> chewing up all the spaghetti, but some of the strands do not get chewed. Mm. I found. Yeah, and those that does come out um, fully intact and makes everything just. About a million times worse. It's disgusting. Those are the best eating competitions, though, where you gotta eat the food in a particular way, or like, 
you know, like, you know, you see the watermelon dudes and it just looks like they're motorboating it kind of thing, you know? <laughs> oh, shit, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that caught me off guard. <laughs> With a motorboat? Oh, fuck. Oh, man. <laughs> Uh, anyway. But you know, you know that gif, right? Of the guy, he's just like. Blah, blah, blah. I, I don't, yeah. Oh, maybe I do. Maybe I do. Oh, you know it. You've seen he it. He knows it's, it. He knows. He's just, he's just being. He doesn't being actually coy. like eat it. He basically just uses his open mouth and like his cheeks, and he, it's like he kind of like scrapes all the watermelon it's, off the rind. It's a gif that's like older than the earth, right? Like it's. Yeah, it's pretty it's old. Like uh, yeah, yeah mm. it's it's been around. I'm, I'm sure if you saw it, it would, it would. He's wearing a, a backwards hat. Maybe I actually don't Tan know. Tan shirt, I never backwards hat. hat. Oh no! Oh no! Oh nice. Yeah. And like, ooh, Whoa! oh, very nice. <laughs> Take those. Nice little shot there. That was good. I like that. That would be another thing. Yo, they should have a comp. You know what's that fish? Uh, if you cook it wrong, it kills you. Oh yeah. Oh, the one Fugu? on the Simpsons. One? Uh, Fugu, yeah. They should have a competition where chefs they have to c cook it and then like eat as many as they can in a lot of time. <laughs> what Fugus? <laughs> the, oh, whatever fish. If you you screw it up, you die of poison or something. Yeah, it's Fugu fish, I think. Yeah, yeah. I I would Fugu, confirm. Fugu me, Fugu you. <laughs> Yeah, you're, what you've proposed is essentially, like, a dying contest. <laughs> but if you win, you get a million bucks. <laughs> that's, that's not even worth it anymore. So like, one when we, third when we were shot, 10. maybe. Sure, but... <laughs> Come on, it's 2022 million bucks. Not it's that true. Much. You know, cash for life, they're still I like, oh, a thousand bucks a week. I wouldn't need a poop for a million bucks these days. Like, Survivor's still giving out a million dollars. I know, man. It's we had seven percent inflation good. last year alone. The show's been on the air for fifty-two it. seasons. Whoa, mouth. It's kind of messed up. They gotta raise the at least add, add like a cost of living adjustment or something. I would no way eat a poop for a million. There's no way. I would absolutely eat a poop for a million oh. dollars. Oh, I would not. I There's would. dudes on Jackass that eat poops for like minimum <laughs> wage. Hey, there's a new Jackass movie out this yeah, year. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. I want to... Jackass wanna... Forever, I think it's called? Yeah. It's after Jackass, like, 3 or whatever. Like, what are you going to do? I've been watching them again. Those are, those are some funny movies. Oh, yeah. I still, like, hate the poop volcano one, though. Oh, that, that was, that was maybe, weird. like, the last one I watched, and then I was like, you know what? Maybe it's time for bed. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, man. I just oh. like the ones where they they trick the dudes into like walking into a hall and then it's like the big punching uh, glove. That, That's just give me give me ninety minutes of that and I'm good. <laughs> oh. That's a good. Oh yeah, yeah. Eric Andre's in the new one. That's a good one. That's in Jackass Three. It's uh, when Bam gets hit by the fist. It's one Is of Bam the most. Is Bam still in it? No, Didn't he's... he like fall out with all of them. Yeah, no, he died. He's not. He's alive. No, he's but... not dead. <laughs> one of them died though, right? Ryan, Ryan Dunn, I think. Yeah, he, he was in, in a, a like a car accident or something. Car accident. Yeah. That's a long time ago now. Yeah, I had a feeling something cut... was something was off with that. Bam tried to sue them. Yeah. Why? Because they were always peeing on him, or he has a fear of snakes. You could sue him. Too many snakes. You could say, hey, sorry, sorry to speak over you here, but my, my wife, so her booster experience was like, mm -hmm. she wanted to get Pfizer and then the vaccinator. I don't know oh, if they're a nice. nurse or a nurse practitioner or whatever, vaccinator. but <laughs> uh, John Cena. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the vaccinator. He was like, you should really get Moderna. Because, like, for some reason, they want to save the Pfizer's for the 5 to 11's or something yeah. like that. There's a reason for it. And she was like, okay, I'll take the Pfizer. Or, sorry, I'll take the Moderna. And then he shot her up. And then he wrote Pfizer on her vaccine card. And then she just checked online, and it says Moderna. So, honestly, I think you could sue the British Columbian government. Dude. I think you I could would. be like, I specifically wanted Pfizer, even my card says Pfizer, and you gave me Moderna, like, give me How much could you a million uh, dollars. Hope, hope to receive? A million bucks? I don't know, it's a, you start, aim high. A 
come on. You gotta go in real high though. <laughs> like You gotta sue them for a billion and then call you a know, billion meet, meet somewhere lower. Yeah, come on, it's twenty twenty two. That's I mean, true. Billion dollars isn't even that much money anymore. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Oh look, they've all left the match. I can't believe it. Johnny and Axel so has easy. crazy brain damage. Yeah, he oh, got. Oh, uh, they gave is him it from the, the show. Yeah, he he got hit in the head with something on the show in this one, and then uh, the doctor gave him that uh, the test that Donald Trump took to prove that he had the best brain of all time because he could remember four pictures in order. Uh, and apparently, he's. They say like if you score under an eighty, it's cause for concern. And he said he scored a seventeen out of one hundred. Oh my god! <laughs> That's. Uh... But in reading that thread, I actually I learned something. I don't don't you know base your life around this, but apparently getting head injuries, as insane as this sounds, in a way, it's better when you're older because your brain has already shrunk but your skull stays the same size so you're less likely to like die due to brain swelling when you're young your brain fills up like almost all of your skull so if it swells you're like in a lot but there's of got there's got to be some shrinkage because it's, <laughs> otherwise that means that your ears just grow a lot because like uh, really old people have like big big ears right? that is like, true uh, that is oh yeah true. your That's ears so and your nose never stop growing man really yep man mine, mine look at look at every people. old actor they got a big old dangly ears oh nice oh. honest oh, this is not to be lewd or, or gross at all but if you just think about it on a physics level your balls must get longer the older you get because they they're sure, yeah. they're just being held up by loses elasticity. It loses elasticity. It's being it's weight that's being held up by just a little bit of skin. There's no way it doesn't get longer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does for sure. It droops. Plus, I dangle <laughs> bricks from mine. It's, it does some some big big time drooping. Oops. Oh, nice moves, nice moves. Thank oh, you, thank you. Going in for the kill. Oh, oh. hey, bud. Oh, hey, no. bud, hey, bud was in the wrong spot. I was just blindly ball chasing. <clears throat> Look at this. Chase those balls. <laughs> nice. Like, I'm, I don't know if you guys have to worry about it so much, but I did spend like 10 years with one ball so large I had to have surgery on it. So, mm -hmm. like, I was I there. <laughs> for me, like, the damage that that does to your body cumulatively over time, I mean. Were you saving up for that big three-gallon? <laughs> it was. That? It was just a <laughs> medical issue. <laughs> <laughs> Pardon me. Sorry, I got a little bit of a cough. Not COVID, by the way. It's just. Oh, nice. Oh, cool. Very crap. nice. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Do not ball cast. I'm not lull. <laughs> oh man. Gets <laughs> me. I love in-game chat. It's been a while. <clears throat> You get that we must be down in the silvers, man. They're down two one, and they're already turning on each other. Like it's they're fighting. Yeah, <laughs> I, I would have thought that we would be playing against other three stacks, but do not ball chess. I'm not lol. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoops! Eased nice, into nice. that ball there. Just, just eased into it. Whoops! Again, faking. Nice, nice, just faking nice. them. I'm just, I'm doing some fakies. More fakies? Oh, that's sorry, my bad. sorry. No, I shouldn't. No, have it's, been I shouldn't it's have my been. bad. Nice. Um, good clear, good clear. Working on it. Going in. Oh! Oh, oh big save. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. Hey, bud. Come on. I mean, like, when their mental is this bad. Honestly, I, I kind of feel like I should just start demoing. Do it. Because I think it'll... it'll They're fragile. Yeah, it'll break their psyche. Oh. I was wondering what would break first. <laughs> your <laughs> mental or your car. <laughs> oh. Did I clear that? Oh, sort of. I got boomed. Oh, that was beautiful, though. 
Dude, this just feels right. <clears throat> Oops. <laughs> Oops. Oops. Running interference. Ball chasing. Oh. Low. Nice, oh, nice, no. nice, nice, nice. But Malv, I didn't uh, take it up with you just yet or whatever, but we got to have a conversation about you. Your breathless recommendation of This Is 40, because that movie is not very good. I don't think I ever recommended it. You I think were I like, it's like it. in This Is 40 when this happens. Like, you talked about no, it as if you, it's like an iconic... You were mad at me because I didn't realize that it was the spiritual or the sequel to oh. Knocked Up. That's true. Oh. But, I mean, I have actually watched This Is 40 maybe half a dozen times, so... It's you know. like... It's almost as long as Once Upon a Time in Hollywood for absolutely no fucking reason. I think I like it just because it's got the the one Scottish guy from the IT crowd. Right, yeah, he, he is in it. Scottish uh, guy? Uh, you know, from IT crowd. Have you ever watched that? Yeah. I'm trying you know, to think of... Uh, not Moss, Roy. It's got Roy in Roy. it. Roy. Oops. Hey, I thought Roy is Irish. Is he Irish? His name sure is Chris O'Dowd. That's pretty Scottish. <laughs> <laughs> so let's do. My bad. Grounds, groundskeeper Willie is is Scottish. See, I don't I don't see in colors. I don't hear in accents. Everybody. <laughs> no, that's fair enough. You know, I I love and hate everybody. Yeah, really, that's so. fair. That's pretty fair. Oh. I love this uh, guy saying his team is absolute ass. It's so good. I love gamers, man. Look at that nice I, shot, I blame, nice shot. I often blame my team as well when I'm. Oh losing. yeah, like when they're absolute it's, ass. Yeah, God, I I feel like everybody needs to know you got an ass team. Oops. <laughs> uh, I mean, what's not? I mean, not that it's a good movie, but like it's got Paul Rudd. I, he's kind of like one of my comfort actors. It's like, mm, yes. If I see Paul Rudd. I'm happy. It's just too fucking long, man. Yeah, it's, I don't even really know what the point is. It's like, okay, you're old. It's two hours and 20 minutes long, and everybody in the movie is just an asshole. Mm. What's it about? It's about being 40 years old. So it's yeah, like, right. he just argues with his wife and kids all the time. I mean, that's <laughs> all I do as well. <laughs> I'm, I'm over 40, and that's all I do, so... Mm pretty accurate i think well then you'd probably even less likely to watch the movie because no like, i don't need to watch that movie that's my life i live it every day maybe <laughs> <laughs> that's why i had struggled to watch goodwill hunting for so long because i think that the character yeah. of will hunting reminded me a lot of myself yeah you're always just going around solving uh proofs and you stuff know like you that, can't like... shake a stick without seeing like some kind of fournier transformation on a chalkboard somewhere and being like oh you know this is uh just take, what does he say? Take it home. Just take it home. I'm sure it's right. Dude, is there like a website or something that keeps track of like the most parried, 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 parodied? Parodied? Par par parodied. Yeah. Parodied? Yeah, yeah. Parodied. Scenes from like movies and shows? Because the <clears throat> chalkboard scene has definitely been done. Number one. Quite a few times. Bullet time from the Matrix, without a doubt. That's got to be up there, yeah. <laughs> What about, uh, what about, uh, you feel Lucky Punk by, uh, mm -hmm. Dirty Harry? That's gotta be parodied. They did famously times, parodied so, right? in The Mask. Yeah. yeah. And it's in, uh... Do you feel lucky? Back to the Future. Punk? Back to the Future? Uh, yeah. maybe, yeah. Yeah, or in the third one, when he's a cowboy. Oh, that's the, the, the most popular one. <laughs> Dude, I tell you. Fuck that stupid song. It's, I gotta set that up as my ringtone, man. <laughs> I'd, be, I'd be excited to get phone calls if that was the case. <laughs> Every day. Yes! Somebody's phoning me again. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> uh. Whoa! I thought that was it, man. Oh, well, nice try. Nice that pucks on net, though. You know, they're probably feeling a little nervous now. Say hello to my little friend. Oh, yeah, that's 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 been done. That's a uh, Scarface, right? Yeah. Say hello to my Oops, little sorry. friend. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, I did watch. Uh, I watched season four of Ozark. Oh, that's is it any good? Uh, so Ozark is a show. 
is... I stopped uh, watching it in uh, season two, like halfway through season two. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't like <laughs> really... <laughs> if you didn't like it, it, it doesn't really get worse, but it doesn't get like better. It's all right. It just, you know, I think yeah, I stopped like, watching it because it was just all right. Like it wasn't... Yeah. It wasn't really that great, you know. That's uh, it's, is Breaking Bad, right? <clears throat> Yeah, it's basically like Breaking Bad, but they're all bad. Um, did they come much. pre bad or did they become bad over the course of the show? Um, there's like a bit of a. Some of them Sorry. come bad or like get bad, you know? <laughs> and then some of them like they're kind of bad at the start, but they get worse, you know? And they, they show flashbacks. They're like, this is, this is how they got bad. Oh. Is the um, is like the trailer park family still in it? The ones they they live like out in the, uh, out in like the um, bayou. With yeah, I mean, kind of. I mean, it's I can't talk too much about it because like you know at a certain NDAs point, and stuff. Yeah. Well, it's... no, just you know, I don't want to be like. I mean, people people die and people get killed. It's one right. thing about the show is they like to kill people. You know. I don't support that personally. So, very against all that, actually. You know? <laughs> I watch a show for fun, not. Yeah. I don't want to see violence. And... Also, it's I don't want to learn anything. And suffering. No, me neither. This isn't school. It's TV. I already know everything. That's <laughs> you know, it's a waste of my time. Well, they teach a lot about money laundering. <laughs> I already actually, know not, all not that much. Really. That. I live in uh, tax haven, so. That's true. That's they true. They teach you how to money launder like when you're six months old over here. You know how to launder money before you even know how to wipe your own ass in this, <laughs> in this country? <laughs> well, actually, when you gotta dirty up the money to launder it, I mean, you know, if you wipe your ass with it, that'll. Uh... Oh. Oh God, I sorry. didn't actually realize it, but was, there's a scene uh, good. <laughs> where he takes like a laundry bag and he puts like rocks or something in it, and with the money, and he puts it in the lot in the in the dryer. Oh, that's I gotta see this. Yeah. <laughs> He's actually doing laundry with the money. We're only down by three, guys. Don't worry. In case you guys were worried at all, I'm not worried. I think so, we, I think we worried. got it. <clears throat> sorry. There you go. All right. Say well, this is it. <laughs> Whoops. I, 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 I turned up. I went. Yeah, that, that, yeah. that was pretty. I, I didn't get <laughs> enough mustard on it, so I basically just teed it up for him. I'm going to blame lag on that one. I was closer yeah. to the ball on my screen for sure. Like this right team is absolute ass. This team. <laughs> Type that in the chat see what they say. I don't want to get banned from from chat though. I might I might get back into this game. <laughs> Sorry. It's there we go. We, the, that hit. was our problem. Is like we got we got too good last time. Yeah. yeah. We were in the Smurf queue, I think. We yeah, we. I remember one of us consistently would, on Mondays would be like plat, and then uh, over the weekend would somehow get up to diamond, and then we would be matched against diamond Dude. players consistently. And, uh, and by the way, and you did it. The diamond I earned by myself, I was solo queuing to get diamond. I did not get carried. Okay. I, you, you know, there's a tone in your voice. I don't know. Like the it, tone okay? is we, we screwed us because we're not diamond level. Oh, oh. yeah. <clears throat> I'm, I'm not suggesting you got, Close one. you know, you got carried or anything. <laughs> Who did you get carried by? Probably Mass Gags. Um, did you, uh, um, actually, did you no, pay? I, a boosting service? No, I, I I played some peeps in the community. We did some we did some tournaments and stuff, and then played a little, a little some some trusted peeps. Hypothetically, yeah. were these trusted peeps bad at the game or good at the game? Oh, good. If they were bad, would you have played with them? <laughs> no. All right. Well, Not that's, uh, the defense or uh, the prosecution rests. <laughs> that's Why did I move to Jersey to launder all my money and uh, not pay tax? That's fair. Just, I was I just got sick of it, you know. I would, I think of that scene from Armageddon all the time, where the, they're doing their demands of the U.S. government to go up into space, and they're like, "Oh yeah, none of us want to pay taxes anymore, ever." I Never, yeah, I want to do that, 
But I actually don't mind paying the tax. I just really don't want to file. It's so oh, yeah. it's such a drag, man. Oh, yeah. how about this? If you could just pay all of your taxes throughout your life as if one sum. <laughs> I don't have that kind of money. I, I, I don't think anybody <laughs> could have that kind of money. It doesn't make any sense. But then it would give you a good idea of how much money you're going to earn over your life. Yeah, but how? And then you could change. You could be like, "Oh, dang! I, the, my tax. I gotta pay like three grand. Like, oh frick!" How are you gonna pay sixty it? years of taxes at once unless your tax rate is like you know one and a half percent? You live in uh, like Panama. But here, okay, here's the deal: in one life, just don't have a job, so you like never have to pay taxes. And then when you're reborn, this guy has a you problem. Put, you put the one big bill. But it's like nothing, and then you get a job like working for Google or something. That's going in, by the way. He's, he's <coughs> no right. shutout. Right. <laughs> it's no <laughs> shutout. Oh. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> we did it. He said that's what the wow. <laughs> the Brazil. You had to make it happen. Hey, did you see Canadians uh, men's? We qualified Soccer for the team. World Cup. Well, we, ha we yeah. haven't technically qualified yet, but our odds are oh. much better. Because we beat, we were at the top of the CONCACAF qualifiers, and then we beat the American team 2-0. Like it's hard? That's got to sting. they they got to be mad about that. We I, Every time Canada wins a game of soccer, I just think about when Alexander Ovechkin won the Stanley Cup and he was hammered at the parade and he goes, We are not going to be fucking sucked this year! And I, like, <laughs> it's been... we. I don't think Canada's qualified for the World Cup since 1986, but we, nice. we are not fucking sucked this year. Although on Good. a global level, we'll probably... If we make it to the World Cup, we'll probably get zeroed out in the group stages, but that's okay. Just to be invited is, is unprecedented. Oh, yeah. uh, that was an epic save, by the way. I just got 75 clean wow. points. Wow. For nice. hitting the ball there. Clean this. Chase this ball. Chase this ball. Ooh, they got, that's pure luck. Clean that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That. I'm not going in. I'm staying back on defense. Yeah, yeah, good idea. Coming at yeah. We got a big boom. Got a big, big boom. Bada boom. Big bot. Big bada boom. Eastside Mario's. From? Nope. It's fr it's from Eastside Mario's. Mm, it's from Fifth Element. Eastside Mario's. Eastside Mario's. Say <laughs> bada boom, bada bing. I could go for some Eastside Mario's, man. It's been a long time. I always tell Wait, people in my what chat. What about the olive, olive branch, the olive garden? Oh, I've never I been. I could go for some. Oh, what about um, Carluccio's? Um, <laughs> what that might, this sounds like a local uh, Carluccio's? <laughs> yeah. Dude, at the Port Hope, they used to have like an Eastside Mario's Express. Oh, yeah. They replaced it with Popeyes. Oh, what, Popeyes what, what was it? Eastside Mario's Express. They microwave the food in front of you instead of in the back room. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> Probably. You microwave your own food after you order it. I actually find can't. Italian find like, Italian tradition microwaving your cannolis and your spaghettis. And boiling up the cannolis. My favorite thing about Eastside Mario's is that I don't think they do it anymore. Probably, definitely not during COVID. But as a kid, they used to, sorry, <laughs> this is right. very rude. They used to give you like peanuts in the shell at your table and then you just threw the shells on the fucking ground. And then yeah, when yeah. you left the restaurant, they give you the option to spin a wheel and the wheel had stuff on it that's like, you know, don't pay tax on this or, you know, like $5 off or whatever. But then the, the death space was like, you got to sweep up all the peanut shells. No way. Yeah, I don't. I never like saw anybody do legally, it. Legally, there's no way. I feel like you could just it. walk out. But you have to do yeah. the dishes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Fuck you. I'm not. I'm not doing that. I speaking of death space. I gotta. My mom sends me great texts that are like completely out of context, and then I have to dig in a little bit more. Um, she sent me a, a, a picture. Sorry. Uh, it was just like a JPEG of a skull and crossbones. And then she said, hey, we're making our death boxes right now. If anything happens to us, just look for this symbol at this place in our house. 
And then I just send, send back A-O-W-T-F. And then she said what? And I said, I just talked to you guys yesterday. I thought you were looking pretty good. And then she said, <laughs> ha ha, but really. And I said, okay, your secret's safe with me. But now I know. Well, next yeah, time I visit next, your parents. Next time you're at my parents' house, box. if you see a skull and crossbones, <laughs> open it up. It's probably my, like my <laughs> baby photos or something. Dude, that, would, that might be worth more than money to you at this point. <laughs> uh, dude, yeah, I mean, I, I tweet a picture of you and me from high school. It's yeah. like my best tweet ever. Dude, I, I, honestly, that tweet, it, it was nice to see. It reminded me that at one point I did have a chin dimple. And then I, like, felt around, yeah. and I was like, it's still there. Yeah. It's just tiny. I also used to, I, like, I remember I... Every so often, somebody like, you got a butt chin? Like, to make fun of me. I'm like, well, oh, I don't really care, but yeah, I definitely don't. I have one now. I oh, miss, I missed, I missed, I missed. <laughs> okay, I got full boost. I'm coming in. Coming in for a boom. Oh, no. I <laughs> I'm, I'm coming in again? No, I missed. Look like my Bowser throws. Oh, this is in. Um, Arnett, maybe? <laughs> Dude, I want to see that new Will, Ar Will Arnett uh, Netflix thing. You guys know about that? Nope. Nope. It's uh, so he plays like a detective or whatever on this crime cases, and he has like a special guest each episode. But they're actually like they don't have a script; they have to do like all improv. Doesn't that sound fun? Um, I zoned out a little bit there. <laughs> what does he have to do? So he Improv? like they there it's like the each episode is like a is oh like my. a crime case or whatever and he's like a yeah. detective and like each episode <clears throat> uh, he has a guest but they don't have a script they do all improv. Oh like, right, okay. Do you know that um so similarly I was reading about this today and sorry to like derail a little bit but mm -hmm. um do you know a lot of the the call-in um voices on Frasier were uh, guest stars. That's how they oh. they did guest stars on Frasier. So like, Ooh. you know, when people phone up and they're like, yeah, uh, hey, Doc, um, my wife is uh, going to leave me. You're talking stuff. about the it. Jerky Boys. This is the <laughs> Jerky no, no, Boys. but it was always, uh, well, it was always like somebody that kind of sounded like that, but it was, yeah, it was always guest stars. It was always like famous people. It'd be interesting to go through some of them and see if you can guess who they were. That'd be a good podcast, actually. Good podcast. Guess the just like yeah, call gonna, in. Yeah. Guess, guess the guess, guess the voice actor. Guess the guess. Guess the guess voice. Did we lose? Give it up. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! I can't believe we lost. We played so well too. You can just look them up on IMDb. There's no fun in that. That's though, not like, fun. You can look anything up. Oh, why? Yeah. Why watch Jeopardy? Oh, yeah. this actor w was in uh, Guess Who's Coming to Dinner. Oh, hold on. IMDb, Sydney Poitier. Incredible. What? <laughs> yeah, I know. It takes the fun out of it, right? So there's no challenge in that. <clears throat> you know what I'm, I'm finally sick of watching is documentaries about real murders. I think I'm just oh, I'm just yeah. full. You're done now. with them. I've seen You're it. I, you know, I've I've heard ten episode stories of people getting murdered in like horrible ways, and I just, oh, I at know. this point I'm just like you can't eh? you can't shock me anymore. No. What about that one? It's like a mini series. I just watched. It's like the Con Man one. No, Have I won't. I won't. Any, I refuse to watch any Netflix documentary about like one man who's bad. That's it's that you know the the Times Square killer con man the most dangerous man. I'm done with it. I've seen it. I've seen them all. Yeah, you want to be part of it now, right? That's your <laughs> yeah. Life. You want to you write your own story now. <laughs> I just I the bald killer. <laughs> the bald murderer. The bald murderer. <laughs> I'll be honest. I don't think there's that many shaved bald serial killers versus the the you know what you'd expect the norm to be. But yeah, I think but there's think about a like lot. Like the minimal amount of DNA evidence you'd leave behind. Right? That's true, <laughs> but I feel there. like a lot of serial killers have the horseshoe. I feel like 
there's like two kinds of serial killers, right? There's like, you know, Dexter, they're smooth and they're charismatic. And then there's like an old guy who has like a big shed. Yeah. The old guy with the big shed always has the horseshoe. Um, there is one guy in Dexter that has the horseshoe, but he wears a wig uh, <laughs> or a toupee. And then Dexter takes it off when he's got him on his table. Oops. Just one last, like, fuck you before he engages his dark passenger. <laughs> before he... Dark passenger <laughs> engages. Yeah, little dark passenger. Uh... He seems to mumble a lot more when the dark passenger is involved, eh? Do you think it's like... Well, backseat driving, right? He's probably yeah. pissed off. I know how to commit murder. Yeah. Don't tell me how... No, I'm not going to slice him here. It's faster if you slice him this way. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys seen the uh, the reboot one? The, the not new one? yet. No. I do want to watch it. I, I think Ravs was saying it was pretty good, but... I know, yeah, Dan, Dan Giesling likes it a lot, too. Um, right. It doesn't seem like a Dan sort of thing. It's not a little brother friendly, that's for sure. No. no. But, uh, or a Mormon friendly either. Dan, I don't think is a Mormon. Come on, he's got to be. <laughs> I know, it's hard to believe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> he's got to be a Mormon. I don't think he's a Mormon. No, I know, I was just joking. You should know, just because you have three kids, that doesn't mean you're a Mormon. No, that's true, actually. I'm not a Mormon. I got three kids, and I'm not a Mormon. I wasn't I wasn't assuming he was a Mormon just because he had three kids, though. I wasn't even assuming he was a Mormon. I was just joking around. Well, if you say so. It'd be funny if he was one. I don't know. Like, it just, you know. It seems like, uh, he just, it just, uh, it would be funny. I, I would, even know why. I mean, I would not say I would laugh at him, but I think I could make, <laughs> I could make some jokes <laughs> that, that might, uh, you know, what's the oh. chafe a little bit? Yeah. Much like the garments that you're supposed to wear in order to <laughs> not be so Wait, tempted. you have to wear garments? I don't think you have to, but there's the option for you if you just decide the pleasures of when the you flesh have, if you If you get the... <laughs> If you if you get the honor of handling the golden plates, do you think you have to wear like some special gloves or jewelry or something like? Oh, I, I hope you would. Do you know that Mitt, Mitt Romney, uh, yeah. during the 2012 presidential elections, he was asked what his favorite meat was, and he said hot dog. <laughs> well, fair enough, man. You know, that's kind of, not a it, real. Like, I'm not really trying to be that much of, like, a Mitt Romney hater. No, Seems like... Yeah, you can get all, like, though. chicken, hot dogs, turkey, you, you get beefs. All yeah, beef, but would you, know, you describe it as your your favorite meat if no, you're a 16-year-old I mean, I, man? <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't. There's, it's wrong for, like, two reasons at least one, so one of the one, reasons like, is because a hot dog is not a premium meat and then the other one in your mind is that he wasn't specific about what kind of animal was in the hot dog well it's just like usually like a hot dog is like something like a six-year-old would say <laughs> that's yeah. true what if they asked him what his favorite drink was and he's like oh apple juice yeah, chocolate milk yeah i actually juice. legitimately do love my chocolate milk, but dude like, i love apple juice still that's why I, yeah, I felt yeah, like I, mean, I had I like to. It too, but I had to. Uh, I'm not a 60 year old you. Republican either. I'm not so gonna like answer that. that. And yeah, like in front of a bunch of people. Oops! I didn't jump soon enough there. I could have actually scored another one for us. Yeah, apple juice is really nice. Oh man, I love an apple juice. I, I get bent out of shape, man, because whenever I tell Chad that I like apple juice, they always say, "Oh, apple juice is for babies." But then when I ask them about orange juice, they're like, bat chest. So true. Orange juice. Such an adult drink. It's all the same shit, man. It's only orange adult juice if you... give you, like, uh, heartburn and stuff, though? I find it's, like, too much. It's just like drinking vinegar and food coloring. Yeah, yeah. Big win, guys. That was pretty sick. I had a good win. Uh, I, like, I like juice and drink. Mango juice, though, baby. Mango juice. Hey, we're, we're platinum except steps to silver three. What happened? Hey, I'll take it. I think I was like bronze last time I played, so I'll take it. They put you with silver three? 
Platinum 2 Division 1. Wow. It's got to be a little bit based on your previous rank, though, too, right? I think, oh, yeah, man. somebody said that they do pull from... Oh. They anchor you to your... In some respects, to your, your previous rank. They must. They I think must. I'm about three divi divisions higher than when I was I last played. It is pretty good. Generous. Hot dog. Hey, Man. Hey, bud. Oh. Shit. I haven't had a hot dog in a while. Same. I don't mind the, like, the beyond... Sausage, my only complaint, it's not even a complaint for me, but I would caution other people. Slight spongy texture. I'm flavor wise, it's okay. I don't, I we need to rework the grocery supply chain for a number of reasons. But the big one is that I want to have like a Beyond Burger. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know, maybe some french fries, maybe a side salad. Does the side doesn't really matter so much, but I can't yeah. fucking do it. Because at the grocery store, the Beyond Burgers, they do sell the two packs, which is fine. That's enough They're for me and my too. wife. But the bun situation is all uh, fucked up. They only sell buns in four, six, and eight packs. We can't, like, I'm not going to structure my whole week oh. around eating leftover Beyond Burgers. They need to start selling. Why don't they sell more two packs of buns? Because you can make a two, a four, a six, or an eight out of two packs. Mm -hmm. Can't you just buy like loose buns? Some like, it's packaging. That's why some it's grocery the stores. Well, then they should just sell all buns in thirty-two packs, and you could just break them up yourself. Then <laughs> just get loose buns. Some look. Some grocery stores have a, a section, a bakery section, where you can get loose buns. Some don't, and then some. I just like. Oh, this was like two weeks ago. I'm sure Mouse heard this like ten times, but. Okay. I, I picked up two Beyond Burgers, and then I went to the bakery section to get some loose buns. And no staff member came out to help me out for like four minutes. So I just put the patties back in the freezer section and then got something else for dinner. Stormed out. I was, I was like... Stormed out of there. I, it was, Not even going to help me with loose buns. They, they, they're trying to get you to like, you know, buy the four pack instead. They might as well not no, even have the bakery it. section at that it's point. A, it's a, it's a, all a conspiracy by big buns. They trying to, trying to force you into not buying the loose I just stuff. want them to introduce a two pack skew. That's, that's the only thing. Yeah. I don't, I, I don't like I've need them to rarely seen two packs. It, it's so rare. They're like, I don't yeah. know. I guess people are only buying this stuff when they're having like barbecues or they all have, you know, 12 kids or whatever. They're eating like six Beyond Burgers per sitting. Dude, just do a patty melt. Or if you buy a four no, pack I'm not going to do a patty use melt. Use the two buns for like <laughs> other sandwiches. You know, you don't have to use them for burgers. Yep. Yeah, I don't want to eat like a ham sandwich on a hamburger bun not to mention i'm not even buying meat in the deli section so now just to not waste two buns i'm going to the deli section to get meat which means i'm also going to get some kind of sliced cheese which means i'm also going to have to get like red onions or you know some kind of condiment at least it's just too much what to just eat shot. two burgers dude like tuna salad or egg salad i know you don't like it no i gotta get mayonnaise i gotta get chopped celery it's it's too much uh, oh that's real nice Ow. Just make two, just make a <clears throat> skew with two buns. That's it. It's, it's not hard. They're already doing it. They're just make the, <laughs> just stop when you're halfway there. Just, uh, you know what? Make Big Macs. So then effectively you only have one extra bun. I, I guess I'll just get heart disease to, no, no, just okay, so I don't waste deal. two buns. Here's the deal, Ryan. The you want your solution? Okay, yeah. Make a big, two Big Macs, so you got an extra bun. <laughs> okay, yeah. Take this that. Is a great solution. Put it, put I it, love this solution already. Put it in your bowl, in your, your dedicated <laughs> bowl to let it to dry out. Okay. And then you break it up into crouton size thingies, so when you make uh, dressing... No, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna buy like you know two rusted potatoes and a couple chicken breasts, and I'll make like a healthier meal anyway. I think uh, people are looking at me like, oh, it's bad take. I'm literally just hoping like some Beyond executives are watching this. Maybe they can start packaging their own buns. The kinds of people who are buying Beyond burgers don't want a 16 pack uh, <clears throat> bun bag. It's too much. Okay, here's the deal. Buy Beyond beef meat. Okay. okay. Make meatballs. Buy yeah. one 
like <laughs> French loaf, one one baguette, cut it in half, and then slice it down the middle. You got two meatball sandwiches. No, I'm not gonna <laughs> serve my wife this is a like meatball such a fucking sub Steve for Rule <laughs> solution. <laughs> you actually do sound like you, Dr. you know Steve Rule. Kate. Okay, I'm not gonna. I she's gonna okay, be like, yeah. "What's for dinner?" And I'm gonna be like, "Oh, it's a Beyond Meatball sub." <laughs> I eat it. I'm not, you, you think I'm that, married to so Joey excited. Tribbiani? <laughs> Uh, oh, they already sell meatballs. There you go. You I can't come out there with a Beyond Meatball sub, man. That's crazy. Okay, well, okay. You get the sub, and then she can have the meatballs and spaghetti. I'm making, like, I already got to make two dinners. One for us and one for the baby. Oh, now I got to make... Yeah, put it in some water. Hey, and what's your go. baby eating now? Oh, she... Uh, our baby just started sitting in her high chair. Oh, that's yesterday. a big... That's a big... Oh, God. <clears throat> yeah, she's loving it. Um, She eats a lot of... Pasta, like she eats a lot of rotini with tomato sauce and, and vegetables in it. Nice, um, nice. Every now and then, I'll make her a quesadilla. It's one of the foods she also likes a lot. I'll try to sneak some vegetable component in there. If we left it up to her, like she would eat a lot of bread and French fries. Yes, she loves bread and French fries. And I, if I was left to it, that's all I would eat as well. I I like both of those things a lot. <laughs> You don't need, a, like, a paternity test when I see this baby eat. I'm like, that's me. Yeah. It's just bread, french fries. She'll eat, like, one strawberry. <laughs> then she's like, I'm done. And I'm like, you're done? How about some more bread? And she's like, okay, I'm not done. Wow. Well, yeah. <laughs> I guess I could eat another another piece of bread. A loaf of bread, yeah. Yeah, I, I get that. Man, I love bread. So good. Oh. I think, like, in my second life, I'm just going to eat nothing but, like, appetizers and finger foods yeah like mozzarella no no sticks? no yeah mozzarella sticks nachos puff pastries dude i mean you may have nachos saw the sweets i had the best taco i think of my entire I life i was gonna ask so what uh it wasn't so, like so the the hook because there was a little gimmick the hook was that it's a bone marrow Arbacoa? so alongside oh. you know they, they had the three tacos there but they also had like a little bone marrow luge which i know you're a fan of and well, you know. uh, a little spoon so you could scoop out some of that fatty yeah. bone marrow put it on the taco but the bone marrow was really just i think that was like a it's just a salty it, yeah it was just to get you in the door it was like a lost leader it was just yeah. a, a fantastic tortilla and uh I guess it was barbacoa. It was like skirt steak nice. cooked nicely. Yeah. Uh, you know, some diced onions and a, like a, a crema on top of it. And But the, the thing that took it to the next level, without a doubt, they put a little cheddar cheese on the tortilla, put it on the grill first so that yes. it was pre-melted. And it was, it was just fantastic, honestly. Dude, that sounds very, very good. Oops, sorry. Sorry, Nelf. Oh, oh man. Sorry, Nelf. Everything. I was in the net and you were in the net and I was <laughs> jostling you and pushing you and bumping and shunting. Oh, man. I'm sorry. So then I oh, took the understand. bone home and I boiled it uh, in, in my stock pot for a couple yeah. hours. And then I got a skimmer and I used the skimmer to scoop the fat off the top. And then I made bone stock. Nice. I don't know what animal it came from. So. I'm joking. Uh, did it taste good though? Oh, it was, I mean, cow. The, the the taco was amazing. I felt bad because we took Kate's mom out for her birthday. And the food was amazing. Don't get me wrong, but I don't know if her mom was that into like Mexican food. We ate. Or we ordered two appetizers for three people total. I ate ninety percent of the matter on both oh, plates for sure. Yeah. I I was doing the thing where I was like. I was definitely eating at like a faster pace, so I deliberately was like, okay, I'm gonna hold up for a second. And then nobody oh. touched the plate for like 30 seconds, and I was like, it's all mine. <laughs> I'm just imagining Kate's mom yeah. going up to like the dude being like, hey, do you think you could like tell somebody at the table to like, they can't eat all the nachos with the good stuff on it, and, you know? I was, I was loving it. I was having a great time. Dude, yeah, oh yeah. Oh you guys, no! You guys ever consider uh, <laughs> trying to hit the ball on kickoff when you're close I, to it? That, <laughs> Sips is, Sips is, uh, it was his role. I know, I was it. I, I don't know what I was doing. Oh man, I didn't expect the ball to be coming that fast. Okay. 
Hey, bud. Hey, bud. Oh, no. These guys are always ready, waiting. Yeah, these they guys. Know where to be. Oh, they beat me. They seem right pretty out. decent. Oh. I'm not touching that. Oh. Nah, nah. If they were decent, they would have put that in. I mean, they are up 4 0 on us, less than halfway yeah, through the game. I think we're just beating ourselves, you know? Well, yeah. wouldn't be the first time. I'm kicking my ass. Do you mind? <laughs> Skirt. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Oh, beautiful. See? Nothing but net. That's hey. not that good. <clears throat> Redemption arc. That was good. That was good. We got a real problem though. Freddie said sorry, and then everybody else said no problem, and then they complimented us. This team, their Shh. mental is insane. <laughs> Farmer Ted. Okay. I got boomed by Father Ted actually. Oh, bad. oh, I beat the one. You got this. You got this. Uh oh, uh oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, so hit, close. I hit every button on my controller at the same time to try to get out of this one. Yeah, I thought mm -hmm. I had that advanced. To you. <laughs> I thought Ryan was going to get it. It seemed like really close to shooting it out. Mm, I, I was, I was deep in the net. My only oh, chance that's... was if I, I pulled an Arendelle. I never even had a choice. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Oh, no, no, no. He hit it. Nice save. What a save. I was ready. I was ready. Oh. <laughs> nice fake. Good. Oh. oh. No, no but he, he was, no, he was he's, there. He's back there. He's ready. Yeah. Coward. What am I doing? I don't I'm have any nothing. boost. I'm heading back. Oh, no. He beat me to it. Luke. Oops. Oh. <laughs> I can't. They didn't give me a save for that. That's how oh, subtle it. it was. That was nice. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, no. Nice. Nice hit. Good hit. Good, good, good. Freddy, you're about to get mouth. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, shit. Got a minute to get four goals. It's happened before. It has. Probably. It is a popular game. I'm not even kidding. Once I did score uh, three goals in 30 seconds in this in a duos game. It was awesome. Were you uh, really pogging out like hard <laughs> when that happened? Oh, yeah. I think we lost in overtime, but. Were you like, you know. bad chest, my ranking, bad chest. I don't know what bad chest is. It's the new emo taking Twitch by storm. It's ironic pog. So if something is not pog, but you know, like, uh, yeah. let me explain it to you, okay? <clears throat> like when Palpatine's voice shows up in the Rise of the Skywalker trailer, oh my God, I was bat chesting so oh, hard. No. Oh, like, uh, like, like thumping your chest like a gorilla. No, like I was, I had chills. Like I was pure bat chested when Palpatine showed up for no reason. Right. Is it like when um, I don't 300 that. came out and every high school kid was like, it's so epic. I it's would say epic. that the first month of 300's existence was Pog U. And then after that, you're like, this is Sparta bat chest for sure. <laughs> for <laughs> sure. <laughs> well. <laughs> I don't understand that. I don't understand bat chest. If someone says great shot bat chest, it's an insult. It's a toxic yeah. emote, but you can use a toxic emote nicely. All right, okay. Yeah. So you can use a toxic emote, but not be toxic. It's yeah. sarcasm in, in emote form. Like, yeah. Oh, epic movie was so funny. Bat chest. Right. Was it was it funny though? No, it's it, uh, incredibly bad and also like offensive, but not funny. What's it called? Epic. Epic movie. movie? Yeah. I'm gonna rent that. <laughs> it's on Netflix. It'll save you a couple bucks. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that sounds sounds like a perfect one for me. Oh shh. 
you know, and then what's great is like chat will use it against you, but you could also use it against chat if you know like their hot button issues. So you could be like, yeah, my favorite movie, Bat Chests, Jojo Rabbit. Oh, it's so emotional, Bat Chest. Oh, I cried so, it got someone cutting onions in here, Bat Chest, Jojo Rabbit. Anyway, I'm, I think oh. I'm kind of... <laughs> Maybe pushing uh, the gas a little hard here. I apologize. No, I like it. <laughs> what the heck, Jojo Rabbit is great? Yeah, it was so great that when I saw it, I was like bat chesting. I'm gonna bat chest. I'm gonna bat chest right now. Here, here, watch this. Wow. Bat chest. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that? I didn't. No. But maybe that's what oh. you wanted. No, it's, that's it, yeah. It's so that's subtle. It was a subtle one, yeah. Whoa! I'm bad. Oh. Oh. No, no, it was, it was a nice try, nice try. We got, we got this, we got this. We got this, this is makeable, this is doable. Oh, very much so. We just got stop visualizing of that chest in my head. <laughs> what, what is it? Like Batman? I'm like, it's like a Zubat or a Golbat or whatever. Oh, man. Yeah, which is the big one is Golbat, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Then there's like an even bigger one now. Oh, Zolgat? Zolgat? I thought... <laughs> hey, bud. Isn't there a... Crobat! That's it. Crobat. Is that the same lineage, though, or is that a different Pokemon? It's a different generation, but it's the same lineage. Mm, it's okay. like the science Pokemon archaeologists had not discovered Crobat in the wild yet, so they thought he didn't exist, but he did. Gotcha. Like a like the giant squid. Right. How weird is it that for like a while they just didn't even know that Pichu was a thing, right? I know, right? Pichu. Like, it, what a what a creative name too, right? Hey, we found a new animal. Uh, what is it? Kind of looks like Pikachu. Wait, is that a, does Pichu evolve into Pikachu? Yeah. Oh, never mind. Just take some letters out of the name. That would be good enough. Yo, let's go. Great goal, but yeah. also can you guys? Did you guys see this guy's comment? My team plays like bronze. <laughs> Look at this flip, man. Look at it. Whoa! Oh, that was huge. Yeah. Look, that was bad chest. Nice flip, bad chest. <laughs> Oh! No, too hard. I didn't oh, expect him oh. to abandon the net. The follow-up, though. <laughs> Great. Here we go. Ooh, there, we go. there we go. There we go. We're in this. We run this city. <sighs> oh. oh, I almost got it. It was one of those tacos. I got a piece of it, but it just... Bump behind. Whoops. Sounds, sounds like a life changing taco. Dude, I honestly, you know, like when you have an amazing meal, you kind of think yeah. about it for like the rest of the day. Yes. It's oh. been like four days and I'm still thinking about it. I had a meal at this place. It's like this old house that's been converted to fine dining in Toronto that like co workers took me to. Um, and it was like they made this dish. It was just like a cube of pork. It was like a perfect cube, but like an inch by an inch by an inch. And it was like one of the best things I've ever put in my mouth. It was weird, like the meat melted. And I've never forgotten about it. Oh. You know? I missed the ball. Just, just so good. Oh, nice save, nice save. Did you get points for that save? <laughs> I did. I thought you were going to ask Malf if he got like points off of his uh, meat cube. Like if he, he paid it, uh, he got air miles or something. Dude, I wish. <laughs> <laughs> meat miles. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. So good. That was also the time I had uh, cauliflower with duck tongue. What the and hell? I know, right? But I Sounds went like for seconds and thirds. It was delicious. I don't know what the heck the sauce stuff was in there. Cauliflower with duck tongue. Yeah. Duck tongue. Duck tongue. Man. Definitely the I weirdest thing I've ever eaten, I'd say. But it was delicious. I had the horse tartare once. Oh, that's 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 fancy. It was really. I good. don't like. I, I've I've had beef tartare, but I don't know. I think it's more of a, like a like early days when I like couldn't wrap my head around sushi in general. Mm. I, that's kind of where I, I was at with like any sort of like 
Yeah. Tar -tar. Honestly, I think we should be eating more meats raw. Um, you know, you'd save a lot on your energy bill. Chicken sashimi. <laughs> <laughs> How do you like to cook your chicken? Personally, I like uh, I, I like to keep it medium, just like uh, mostly gray, but then like a little line of pink in the middle. They I lost like, the like player. They got raw. a rage quitter. We won the mental. We did. Dude. <laughs> Oh, but this guy's still in. Oh, never mind. Oh, oh man. man, no problem. One more, one more, one more. Oh, yeah, one more, one more, one more, one more. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sips, you have four goals, man. Fuck. Yeah, but who's 523 up? points. What is this sorcery? <laughs> Division up, silver three. Wow. Just carrying the platinums, no problem. Ooh. Oh, I went down from platinum to... That's okay. We want pork. We want pork. <laughs> That's what they're chanting in the background after the conversation. I thought about this the other day. You know how they like Burger King came out with chicken fries? Yeah. What about like onion rings, but they're beef rings? <laughs> oh, like there's just a bit of beef inside, like a it's ring probably ground beef. beef. It doesn't. The beef just doesn't fry <laughs> as well. I think as the chicken. Well, it's battered. Yeah, you know? that's what I mean. Nobody's out there eating, like, fried beef. I mean, chicken fried steak, but only, like, the, mo the most psychotic 20% of the United States. But it's, like, it's like ground that. beef, and it's, like, really thin, so it'll cook quickly. It's a, it's like a, you know, smash burger. You only cook those for, like, a couple minutes. Yeah, but, like... It's so thin, you know? It just... It, I don't know, man. Like, a, a ring of beef, for whatever reason, it just doesn't sound appetizing to me. We gotta think of new avenues, Ryan. <laughs> think of it on like the the marketing. You know, get yourself a beef ring burger. <laughs> oh, so it's on. Okay, now that it's on a burger, what's the burger made out of? Can't be beef. That's too much beef. No, we'll do. Um... How about a Beyond Burger with a real beef onion ring on top of it, <laughs> with with two buns. To add, well, get, yeah, you obviously. get a package of two buns. <laughs> oh. Um. We'll do it. You know do what's it, uh... crazy? And I was thinking this is a great. You reminded me. Um, mm -hmm. It's crazy how literally Italian sausage is just ground beef but superior. And that is pork. Yeah, but like it, I mean, it's it occupies the same textural. Yeah. Uh, niche, but it just tastes better. No, I'm with you 100. percent it's like, you know, if you're going to put a bunch of stuff in the tube, like, get some s spices and flavors in there. That's like, the thing, yeah. It's like, what, Spice otherwise, tube. what's the point? Like, I, I gotta, I want to try making, like, a, an Italian sausage hard taco. Italian sausage It's taco. just, it's just better ground beef. Would you do, like, cook the sausage whole and put it in there like no, a... No, oh, you gotta... Sorry. You you cut the like casing and you, you, you crumble You it. empty it out. Okay, yeah, I'm, just, yeah. I'm just asking. Because you could also, like, slice it up into little, you know... No, I'm not gonna cut it into little octopuses and put it inside of a hard taco shell. That's... <laughs> That's how you get the kids to eat <laughs> <That's enough>. insanity. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't work that way with sausage either, right? It's not the same consistency of a, of a hot dog. That is true. Oh, oh God, it's so close. I was almost there. Mm. Oh, chorizo. Very good. Yeah. Those, it's like a chorizo-flavored black bean and corn burger. Oh, yes. Have mm. you guys ever had uh, gnocchi before? Oh, gnocchi. Gnocchi, yeah, I love it. On gnocchi. myriad occasions. Yes. Uh, Literally like that, had some like last week. That pota potato pass is so nice, isn't it? It's so good. It's got to be one and of the best pastas. Little, little rose sauce, rose sauce. Well, that's Rosy a bit fancy sauce. for me, but... <clears throat> yeah, what's your, <clears throat> what's your pesto sauce? Or your pasta sauce, I should say, of choice, Sips. It's just... Uh, I just like uh, some tomato... Tomato sauce with like some garlic and herbs in there. So I'm, I'm, I'm good with that. Just some garlic, onion, maybe like, you know. Mm -hmm. What about you guys? I'm a green oh, man. I, I, like... Marinara man. Uh, I'm more of a, a red, red man. man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Marinara man. I, I'm yeah, all I about the pesto. Pesto's yeah. kind of. I'm nice. all about. I, it. I can get a sick of it if I have it too much though. So it's, a, it can be a bit much. You know, like, yeah. 
But a tomato then, sauce, man, I could never get sick of tomato sauce. So oh, good. yeah. It's so good. I've, I've never personally been too big on the pesto myself. Oh, that's please. a shock. Oh, God, I can't believe he saved it. Great job, I, great I had a take. I was going to tweet it on Friday when I cooked some pasta. Um, but then I decided I didn't want to start my weekend by making the internet mad at me. Cool. Yeah, of course. And my take was very simple. How did you say that? I would put the jarred pasta sauces up there with anyone's homemade sauces. I want to be clear. Not the cans. I'm not going to insult you and say that your homemade pasta sauce is worse than the cans. But I think if you did a blind taste test of Chat's homemade tomato sauce and a jarred tomato sauce, I think it would, at, at best, Chat would get 50%. <clears throat> I, I'm, I don't think it's that controversial. I kind of agree with you. If I get gnocchi or some kind of pasta, I usually just get, you know, I'll get a nice dish of some, or a nice jar or Not a can. But. That's... No, I don't can. Like, to me, I, you get the can if you're actually, like, making your own sauce. Like, you get the tomatoes, the San Marzano's out of the can, but... I wouldn't insult anybody by suggesting the can would defeat them. Can you even get... Like, I just think it's, it's fucked up that, like, people can? that are... They've cooked, like, five times in their whole life are like, no, I would never buy, like, a jarred pasta sauce. Like, you really think you're going to come up with something that the food scientists at Kraft haven't thought of? Oh, I put uh, garlic in mine. Whoa, so creative. Yeah, they came up with single slices. I mean, <laughs> they, can, they can do anything. I, I put oregano in mine. Wow, so bat chest, so original. Wow, that sounds, <laughs> bat. That sounds amazing. <laughs> a million million dollar million dollar idea i'd eat that for a million dollars but not poop <laughs> did, you guys, uh, yeah. did you guys hear about uh meatloaf dying yeah it's sad eh it's anyway yeah. gotta go no See you later, yeah, uh, right. thanks so much. <laughs> <laughs> oh man oh, it was sad though eh? it is oh. it is this is sad no meatloaf this is sad <sighs> sad Oh, guys, it was nice to be back. I um, we haven't uh, we haven't streamed since uh, Christmas, by the way. So, it's, uh, oh, I know yeah. it's crazy, right? Merry Christmas yeah. and Happy New Year. I guess it's uh, like a, a month on. It's already February. I can't believe it. Tomorrow, tomorrow's February, right? It's true. Yes, it's it is. True. Fucking crazy. So true. So true. So true. Man, oh, man. Bat chest. So God. February. Just. I'm, 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 I'm slamming my bat chest right now. Um, <laughs> thanks, uh, 